Starwing, a video game podcast by Josh Dowd. In the last episode, we saw Fox, Falco, Slippy, and Peppy join forces and form a team called Starfox 64. They head out on the Great Fox ship to help Peppy with his quest. Across the Lila system, there's a place called Sector Z. We see the saucer that attacked Cornelia earlier land on this planet, and the guy gets out. That is Kane. He walks up to the end of the hallway that leads to a dark room and goes inside. A voice emerges from the shadows, saying, I've been waiting for you, General. How did you make out? Everything went according to plan. Here's the shard you requested. Then you recovered everything? Um, yes. I think all of it, and then some. Some more? What do you mean? Well, let me just show you. Gain goes to walk away from the shadows he was talking to, and moments would pass, and we see a giant head with a right arm emerge, following Gain back to the saucer ship. As they get there, he sees two prisoners and says, Who are you? I am Wolf O'Donnell, the best to ever take flight at Star Fox Academy. Star Fox? I hate those pesky basic intellectuals. Only I have the brains to rule the Lila system, but hmm, I'll decide what to do with you in a minute. Next. Yes, 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 yes. Da, da. What is this? You brought me my nephew. Oh, God, my sister's going to kill me. You idiot. What were you thinking? That I just wanted to get your lab. They're the ones that got sucked into my tractor beam and tried to take me down. Yeah, I made it look real good, Uncle. Here's the data that I've been collecting for you, and I think this guy Wolf would make an excellent part of our team. So you have been getting my secret transmissions, but why haven't you contacted me back? I just got the right part that I needed. Very well, King. Release my nephew went through, and you may leave us. We got abnormalities to create. Very good, sir. You sure there isn't anything else I could do for you? Yeah. Find Fox McCloud and his team and kill him. Do as he says. Andrew, this is your uncle? Tell him to let me go. Andrew, what do you say? Do you want to learn about the family business? Family business? What's that? Sure. You got a meat puppet for me? Yes, I do. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! What can I do? Anything you want. I think I'll start by checking out his eye. And now I'll reprogram its mind. Oh my goody, where's my meat puppet, Uncle? Why, right in front of you, nephew. What? Andrew, no, don't do this. Yes, here, use this chip to install inside of his brain. No, stop. I'll fight you. Andrew summoned his creations to charge our wolf and restrain him, but Wolf would manage to knock a few of them down and say, You're not so tough. I admit you're good, but I'm better. Wolf would eventually get overwhelmed by the amount of robots that were coming after him and get pinned to the ground. Stop! Get off me! I will not be defeated by this trash! It's time you shall feel true pain and start your re-education. The half-broken robot would be restraining Wolf and drag him over to a stand-up gurney. The scene would turn black and we hear. <laughs> Sorry, Wolfie, but this is gonna take off. Uh, is that the best you got? I mean, that was just foreplay, but this is more fun. Give me your eye, Wolf. <laughs> In space across the galaxy, next we see the Great Fox starship heading off to the first place to investigate Peppy's list. As the ship arrives, it turns out to be an asteroid belt. We see Fox, Peppy, Falco, and Slippy launch their R wings from Gray Fox and begin to talk and search the asteroid field. Everyone form up. Put R wings into all range mode. You guys, I don't like the looks of this place. Didn't this used to be a planet? Close. It was actually a moon to Aquas about four weeks ago. Go. Do we even know what happened here? Andros. Hold up. I don't think so. Then who or what else could it be? Um, you guys remember that training mission with the flying bugs? The aperoids. Yeah. Incoming attack from behind. Drop down and hit the brakes. Or do this. Three aperoids begin their attack from behind. For those that don't know, an aperoid is a scary space butterfly that shoots energy circles from its tail. We see Slippy, Fox, and Peppy hit the brakes and drop down. 
while Falco does a loop de loop and manages to take out two of them. Whoa! Now that's some fancy flying! Way to go, Falco! Yeah, that was amazing! Now, guys, get this goob off me! I got you, Slippy! Hold on! Pepe gets behind Slippy and kills the remaining Abroad. Oh, thanks, Pepe. For a minute there, I thought I was a goner. Swoopy, you and I take the lead. Falco and Pepe, cover us. Um, Fox, you're the captain. Perhaps you should cover me, or Pepe should take the lead. He's right, Fox. Fine. Switching positions with Falco, but open up the wings. Check G diffusers and be ready for anything. Uh, you guys? Hold up. I got an unusual reading in that crater over there. It could be what we're looking for. Do we know what we're looking for? I think it's some type of shard. It could be a trap box. Do we know anything about the shards? Like how many there are? General Pepper and Rob are still working on figuring that one out. So, do we know what the shards do? I have a theory, but you're not gonna like it. Go ahead, let's hear it. Okay, well, when I last saw Andros, he was nothing but a giant head and a right hand. The shard I recovered came from, well, the less you know, the better. So, where's his body then? And if we gather up the remaining ones and destroy them, we would stop Andros that way? There's only one way to stop Andros, but who? Who has the guts to do it? All right, everyone, let's head into the asteroids. And with caution, and check it out. Pepe, take point, but sneak in low, so if anything is around, we can surprise them. G diffuser stabilized, ready to go. I'm all set and ready to rock. You guys, there's something wrong with my G diffuser. I'm gonna sit this one out and head back to the ship. I can do all my scanning and help from there. The docking bay is prepped and ready for your return. Lieutenant Falco, Captain Fox, and Commander Pepe, please be careful. Good luck. Pepe, Falco, and then Fox pilot their R-wings around the asteroid field. Slippy says, All right, you guys, I made it back to the ship safe and sound. Star Fox 64 crew, a giant crater lies ahead. Great Fox scans, there could be something in there. They pilot inside the enormous chunk of the moon that has been destroyed and find a place to land. They get out of their ships and converse while walking around. So, Pepe, what exactly are we looking for? You said a shard, right? Well, there's one. Oh, look, there's another one. And you know what I see over there? Hi. Yeah, it's Fox. Standing right next to some more shards. Those shards are different. They're dragon scale shards. Plus, I see a few other things lying around. Dowdy lion plants over there and those balls of puss. But keep your eyes peeled for any clues that may tell us what happened here. Hold up. Do you guys see that in the distance? No. What is it? I don't know exactly. Follow me, Fox. Star Fox 64 crew, come in. Slippy and I have detected an abnormality existing inside the cave. Can you guys identify what kind? Uh, let's see. Give me a minute. We see that be Falcon. Falco and Fox are about a half mile from their R wings now when Falco says, So, this appears to be a dead end. Anyone else see anything other than these little balls of pus all around? Yuck. Not a thing. I'm starting to think the reason this place was blown up was because they found the shard. Stupid, useless balls. Leading us to a dead end. <laughs> Falco ends up kicking one, watching it into the distance. Guys, do you read me? Get back to your ships now! Those balls aren't useless. Why? What's wrong, Slip? Are you okay? Oh yeah, everything's fine up here. But it's not down there! What do you mean it's not down here? There's nothing even down here, Slip. Do you guys hear that rumbling? And if not, it's coming. The balls of puss, as Falco calls them, are actually hatchlings of the aperoids. The sacks from all over the ground and walls would start to move back and forth, and one would burst open, and a tiny aperoid would emerge and start to attack Falco first. Ah! What the heck, Fox? Pepe, help me! Get this thing off me! Pepe, switch lasers to stun. That's it, punks. You attacked my friends. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. Ah! Pepe and Fox would begin to shoot the laser guns at the aperoids that were attacking Falco. The few that they hit would fall to the ground and twitch as they were stunned, not killed. But the other aperoids would not know that, and they would form in clusters and now begin to attack the three of them. Ah, uh, what the? Why are they attacking me? I've seen this before. We don't stand a chance. Run back to the ships. It's our only hope. There are so many of the tiny aperoids attacking all three of them that it's going to be tough to make it back to the ships. But they manage and flee fighting for their lives before finally making it out of the asteroid field and back to the safety of Grey Fox. The tiny aperoids won't leave the asteroid crater as they are too little. As Fox, Peppy, and Falco get out of their ship, they are greeted by Rob and Slippy. Rob says, Welcome back, Star Fox 64. Rob, put a bomb into that colony and wipe them out. 
Rob, hold up. Cancel that order. Fox, are you nuts? They almost killed us. It's survival of the fittest. Killed or be killed. Normally, I would agree with you, but those tiny aproids pose no threat to us. They probably only attacked you because someone blew up their home and they're scared. Or maybe because someone just had to kick one of them. Fine, whatever. But sooner or later, Fox, you're gonna learn. You can't save everyone. Slippy's repairs have been made, and ships are ready for combat. Thanks, Rob. Could you do a diagnostic for everyone's ship, please? As you wish, Captain Fox. Incoming transmission from General Pepper, patching him through. So Rob and I took the data Pepe brought home and realized it's actually a map. It's a map of seven different planets. Aquas, Cornelia, Titania, Solar, Zonas, Macbeth, and Venom. Holy cow! What's going on at Solar and Katarina? Don't we have a base of operation in Katarina? Yeah, it's Falco and Slippery. I'm afraid this map may contain pieces to where the shard is hidden. Alarms blaze at the base on Cornelia, and an incoming transmission is heard. General, come in! This is Star Fox 37. We've located the enemy saucer and are under attack, as well as the planet. We need assistance now! Did you hear that, Star Fox? Quickly! Get to Katarina! It's under attack! We're on it, General. Plotting course now. Let's hope we're not too late to find and recover the shards this time. Hold up, Star Fox 64! Please stand by! I have more news to report! Okay, General. What news do you have? The ship that's attacking Katarina is the same ship that attacked Cornelia! Great. So how do you expect us to take it down? Cat has found a weakness. They need your help. Quickly, they're trying to destroy our R-Wing factory! Got it, General. We're already locked in course. We're on our way. We shall be there in a few moments. General, Rob and Slippy figured out the data I collected was a map. It shows a path listed for seven planets. I'm sending you all the intel we have. Is there anything you can tell us about the shard? I can tell you it's a red shard. That's all you need to know. Got it. Over and out. Everyone, get your R wings. It's time to kick some tail. Uh, Fox, I don't have a tail. Well, you have a foot, right? Yeah. Then I guess you're going to do the kicking. Heck yeah, we all are. They all hop into their R wings and exit Gray Fox and head to the planet's surface of Katarina. It's nothing but a battlefield with ships all over the atmosphere. The inhabitants of Katarina are trying to defend themselves the best they can, but there's just so many enemies around. It's about time you guys showed up. We came as quickly as we could. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Okay, so we have discovered how to take out this saucer. I've located the shard as well. General Pepper sent me everything. Do we know how many shards there are? Not that I'm aware of. Hopefully, your map can put us on the right direction. I imagine once we recover one, we can find out a lot, too. Systems are a go. We just send one team to recover the shards and another to hold down the enemies in the sky. Any volunteers? All right, you are the man who's going down on the surface with Cat, and who's taking out the enemy ships with me. I'm better to you in the sky than I am on the ground. I'll fly with you, Bill. Me too. Pepe, are you okay going with Fox? Yep, I'm ready, willing, and able. All right, on my mark, rendezvous with Cat. You guys help Bill, and be safe, everyone. Good luck, Star Fox 64. You got it, Captain. Slip, get this guy off me. Pepe and Fox put their R wings into autopilot mode and transport them themselves down to the surface and inside the base, where they are greeted by Cat. Oh my! Please have mercy! I'm Pepe Hare! That's no way to greet a girl. Hey Cat, what's the story so far? Set your weapons to stun. I've located the shard, but according to the General's intel, this is not going to be easy. Alarms blaze inside the base, and a familiar voice comes over through the loudspeaker and says, <laughs> Intruder alert. Unknown forcible access. Weapons systems deactivated. Was that Rob's voice? And can he help us? He's the primary form of defense here at the base. Sounds like we may not be alone down here. The vault door is just around the corner. Stay close. Hold up. I can use this control panel to take Rob offline. You can? How? Slippy and I were looking at the ship's version of Rob, and if this one in the system is anything like ours, then... Weapon system. Uh, that was it. 62. I like how... But Fox, why would you do that? He'll protect the shards until we can get there. What doesn't make sense to me is if Rob requires codes to modify and only captains get codes, then who is in the vault? Who do you think it could be? The only people I think it could be are missing. Like my father. Pepe, you should 
tell me what happened. I deserve to know. James is my dad. Rob, can you determine what the last access code used to enter the vault down here? The last user was, oh my, James McLeod. No, it can't be, Dad. The three of them peer from around the corner and see it's not James McLeod, but someone else. Someone Pepe knows. You guys, shh, look. Yes, I remember finding this place and the shard. Your team's the one that found the shard? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Andrew said to use this flail gun. Nothing will stop you. But what use is a flail gun if I can't find the stupid shard? Stop right there, Pygmy. Put your hooves up where I can see them. You mean like this? <laughs> Pygmy shoots his flail gun, but it shoots so many shots in a scattered formation that none of them seem to land. Stop right there, Pygmy. What are you doing? Oh, Peppy, old friend. I thought you were dead when James died. I guess I'll have to change that. When James died? Yeah. <laughs> Cat recovered the shard. Pepe, did you get a chance to look over the formations? Yeah? Why? It's time to shake and bake. Shake and bake? Oh, wait, I get it. <laughs> Fox runs forward and bolts to the left and takes cover, while Pepe advances to the right. They surround Big B, which allows Cat to sneak over to the vault and recover the shard and deactivate Rob, while Pepe and Fox rush Big B. Go ahead. Do what you want with me. I ain't no squealer. I'm going to bring him back to your great Fox. I'll see you guys in a few on the battlefield. With any luck, Bill, Falco, and Slippy are keeping the fight alive. Up top, Bill, Slippy, and Falco are flying in formation. Falco leading in the front, Bill behind him on the right, and Slippy behind him on the left. Bill says, Has anybody heard from them? Like, they've been down there for an awfully long time, and I don't know how much longer we're gonna last up here. My sensors indicate that they just fired up their R wings and are on their way back to the surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure they're okay. Let's worry about our task at hand. Look, you guys, the saucer's flats are opening. Quickly, let's attack them. This is Acting Captain Velko. All forces, focus fire on the flaps. Follow our lead. Within seconds, all four flaps of the saucer would be destroyed, and a long rod would emerge from the center of the ship and touch down to the ground, Slippy would say. Uh, you guys, this isn't good. My scans indicate that their saucer is draining the electricity from the planet. Attack the new target. Follow our lead. I'm afraid we can't let you do that. Huh? What? No. It can't be. Wolf, you're okay. Yes, in Falco, I am. But you're dead. Holy cow, what the hell is going on? Wolf, why are you attacking me? I'm on your side. Are you kidding? Because we fight for Andros. I am the great Rion, and prepare to die by my hand. Hurry up and enter attack formation Delta. Keep them from destroying the saucer. Hey, Andros, you poops are finally here. Now, help me out. Get me out of here. Oh, hell no. Bill, slip. How many bombs you got? Only one. I have one as well. Bill, I'm sending you the plan. Slip, I want you to do the same thing, but you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a play from Fox's book. Ooh, goody. I help make a lot of those. Which one are we doing? Seek and destroy. Wait, Falco, can you really do this? No time like the present to find out. Falco, Slippy, and Bill emerge into the clouds of the sky, and as moments pass, only one ship comes down and starts its attack on Wolf. What the? Cover me, Leon the Great. I'm on it. I think I'll torture them for a while. (laughs) Andrew, recover, Pygmy. Oh, no, you don't. Get ready. Crap, I hit the saucer. I'm sorry, saucer. You stupid, annoying bird. Get over here! It's not okay, you idiots. A few more shots like that and I'm done for. Whoa, I'm cloaked and ready. I'll take care of those pesky weasels. Fly over here. We see the ship chasing Wolf is Bill, who doesn't miss a beat and is attacking Wolf's ship when all of a sudden Bill pulls back and does a loop-de-loop. But behind him is Slippy, who locks in his sensors onto Wolf's ship and fires a bomb. But Wolf would sense that this is what they were doing and do a loop-de-loop himself, and the bomb would turn and hit Andrew's cloaked ship instead. Now, Uncle Andros is gonna kill me if I destroy my new ship. I'm out of here. If you flee from here, you coward, I'll kill you myself. 
And that's something I'll have to look forward to later. His ship is smoking. Let him go. We can handle these three brats. Watch this. Leon races towards Slippy, you pulls to the right at the last minute, seeing him on his radar. But Bill doesn't have those specs in his ship, and Leon's attack on Slippy becomes an attack on Bill. Already pretty banged up, Bill's R wings start smoking and wings fall off. Bill aims his ship at the saucer's needle and flies at it. When Bill's ship hits it, it explodes, sending debris everywhere. There! Now the odds are even! We see the saucer start exploding all over, as that was the final hit. But it's taking them so long down there. Fox, Peppy, Cat, we needed you like five minutes ago. It appears Pygmy has failed and been captured. Then there's no reason to stay. But let's see if we can do a little damage on the way. Target the R-Wing facility. I'm on it, releasing all my bombs now. We see Leon fire eight bombs from his ship. But as they are glistening flying through the air, we see all eight bombs get shot down from three ships that emerge from the base below. We hear Fox over the intercom say, Did someone call for the cavalry? Pepe, Cat, Delta Formation. I'm ready, Foxy. You know, Fox, you're becoming more and more like your father. Oops, I'm sorry. Ready. And attack. Bring it on, Star Weasel. I'll cover you, Wolf. Release your bombs. They can't shoot them all down. Wolf, is that you? Why, hello, Fox. Soon you shall meet your end. Wolf, what the hell happened to you? We used to be friends. The wolf you knew died that day when you failed to save me. This is all that is left. Damn you, Wolf. Think about your training and look at what you're doing. You know this is wrong. If only you knew the truth, Falco. I wonder, would you hold yourself so high and mighty with your beliefs? You know what? Screw it. This ends now. Wolf fires all of his bombs, 20 of them, and Falco would hurry up and focus all of his fire on Leon, who would kick his thrusters into full speed and make Falco chase him. Bye-bye, birdie. You can't catch me. I'm the great Leon. Falco, come back. He's trying to separate you to take you out. Let him try. He doesn't stand a chance. You haven't seen the last of me, Fox. You win this battle, but I shall win the war. <laughs> Wolf ship cloaks and flies away. Fox, should we engage? I can still find Wolf cloaked on my radar. What? You can? How? And more importantly, can you share that tech with the team? I sure can. And here you go. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't think of it sooner. Cat, Falco, Peppy, Fox, and Slippy spring into action and take out 16 of the bombs. But four of them make it to the surface and end up destroying the Arwing factory. Fox says, everyone report. I'm good. Everything A-OK over there, Fox? Phew, that was a close one. What the heck happened to Bill? I'm sorry, but he didn't make it. Incorrect. Just before his ship crashes into the saucer, Bill hit his eject button. I'm scanning the surface now to see if I can locate him, but there is a lot of smoke. Hang on, Rob, I gotcha. My planet is very smoky, so I can filter that out for you. And here ya go. Incoming transmission. Hey guys, it's me. About time you answered. Are you gonna pick me up and leave me stranded here? Don't worry, I got him. I'll come back to rendezvous with you guys in a few. I have something I need to take care of first. Good riddance. Now, Falco, you didn't feel that way after your... Hey, 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 okay. I take it back. Just be safe, cat. Let's regroup back at Great Fox. We see Fox, Falco, and Slippy fly to Great Fox, but Beppy holds back. He has a look of fear in his face. He knows what's coming, but he doesn't want to face it. 